Yeah, Your referee for this contest, Paul Copley. Bit of a juxtaposition to the previous fight where uh, when Nathan and George came forward, they were just staring at each other. Both these competitors seem very relaxed, very chill. Very friendly. Yep, very respectful. He's still on that last whoop. Oh, oh, vicious heavy Kenny kick. Kenny catches and returns. I feel like Kenny threw a bit of a soft kick out there. Yeah. Immediately counted with a hard thudding kick. Kind of woke Kenny up a little bit. These are some vicious thigh kicks. Oh, landed a head kick there, Kenny. Kenny's got to get those feet moving. Nice head oh, movement there. Nice That's little it. slip back there by Kenny. Kenny needs to act, kind of activate the defense mode a little bit. Andrew looks kind of like a cartoon 1920s pugilist. With the mustache and the tattoos. Yeah. Like, like his style, and he's got a beautiful Muay Thai style. Yeah, very high guard, very Kenny's classic. Kenny's landing it though. Kenny's peppering him with those inside thigh kicks, outside thigh kicks. Kenny's landing the thigh kick and he's using it to step in for the, the to land a jab. Yeah, it's the shorter, less rangey fighter. Kenny really needs to use his movement very wisely. Andrew just threw an overhand right that just missed Kenny. Kenny's got a lovely lean back, but he's got to be careful with it. Like that, it can land as an overhand if he doesn't lean back enough. And if, if Andrew kind of figures out that lean back, it could be dangerous for Kenny. But Kenny's so far using it really nicely. When you land it, it lands lovely, right? It's like the Matrix. The kind of initial onslaught from Andrew's calmed down a little bit. He gets swept. Is that a low kick? Oh, and that definitely found home. A wake-up call for Kenny that round was. That was uh, Andrew landing a lot of heat there. Highs and lows. I missed the slip. What, what happened with the takedown? Was that a sweep or was it a head kick? Um, I think it was just a slip. Presumably a slip because otherwise the ref would have stepped in and given a, 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 right. an eight count. Good, good, uh, good evasive instincts from Kenny there. He's slipping a lot. He's you know coming in and out. I think he's just trying to you know kind of figure out the puzzle here a little bit. You know he's the, the shorter fighter. He's got the, the shortest reach. He needs to. Really get a read on, on Andrew here to, to make anything work. Or is Andrew they able just to kind of you know pick his shots here? Kenny listening intently there, look. I think uh, ju judging just from that round, Andrew really brought an intensity that maybe Kenny wasn't ready for at the start of that match. And it'd be interesting to see, can he adjust and can he match that intensity and even swing the momentum in his favor? And round two. Okay, just jabbing, filling the center. I see what you mean by Andrew's Nice little front kick, and then he goes low and chops to the leg twice. Whoop. Andrew responds, lands a hook. Missed that kick, though. Andrew looking low. He looked at his uh, at, um, Kenny's legs there and went high. Kenny being a little bit more active, though, with his kicks now. You can just see Seems again. to be chopping to the inside a lot, and then switches to the outside. I think the difference in landing the leg kicks is Kenny lands and uh, Andrew kind of blocks with the knee. Oh, nice knee there from Andrew. Yeah, and another one. And out. another one. Those aren't nice knees. Oh, beautiful knees from Andrew. Kenny's not got any responses to them yet. He's just taken them. That's good, Andy. That's good. Those, were, those were crushing knees to the body. You saw, and you can see the pinkness on uh, Kenny's body now. But you saw Kenny see a bit of pinkness on the inside of, uh, of Andrew's front leg, though. That's it. Kenny's been using that inside thigh kick to kind of step in close. He's got to watch those body shots, though, because those body shots we saw in one of the matches earlier can drop. They might not look like they hurt, but they can drop you if one gets through. Kenny opening up a little bit more now. And Andrew throws this with murderous intent. But Kenny's just spamming away a little bit more now, throwing with a bit more volume. That said, now, Andrew's really going for it now. Kenny's unleashing. really unleashing That's the like volume Andrew. by Andy. You know what? Oh, oh, beautiful kick there. Kenny shook his head as if to say, nah, -uh. and Andrew, that prompted Andrew to get thrown those Yeah, kicks. that just pissed him off more. And I tell you what, I saw Andrew look back at Kenny as Kenny walked off. Kenny's not still in the game. You know, Kenny took all of those strikes and still was just shaking his head. L looking like none of them's got through. It is good theatrics. And still, you can see, you know, Andrew is still seems to be landing more here. Oh uh, yeah, it's good theatrics, but he's losing the fight. You know, taking kicks isn't going to get you to win the fight. 
I'd be very interested to see what do you think uh, Kenny needs to do to mix this up? I think he's just to keep up the volume. Um, he just Whenever he gives Andrew range and time, Andrew's just unloading with those heavy, heavy kicks. And Andrew just needs to carry on doing what he's been doing, right? You know, yeah, Andrew's winning it, the fight. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Eventually, one of these strikes could get through as well. Both fighters touch gloves again, very respectful. Cage doors closed. We're ready for round three. Very interested. Can Kenny mix this up? Kenny goes to the inside. He goes to the outside just as Andy. Kenny can't match. He's throwing those powerful kicks yeah. to the body. He can't match Andrew's power. It'd be interesting if he can counter oh. it with volume or footwork. And and Andy starts throwing in those overhands now. Beautiful Andrew's kick done to the a body. Beautiful job doubling up. He's kicking low, going high, like, but he's throwing him in twos. Kenny oh. Fates, oh! Solid punch landed there. Kenny's got to keep his guard up. He can't bring his guard down just be, you know, to defend the body. Because one of those kicks could go up high. And again, and there we go with the overhand. Andrew's got a really nice, really nice combo where he goes to the leg, to the body, and then just finish it off with that overhand. Lovely, lovely, devastating kicks landed yeah. by Andrew. Andrew is a Mai Tai specimen. He just looks really, really he's good. He's just using the range expertly here. Trying lovely combos. Oh, Kenny gets to the inside and there's that knee again. But this is a bad place for Kenny. I don't like Kenny's chances oh. in the cage. He, that's two solid knees landed to his sternum there. Peppering in the thighs with those knees as well. Yeah, it's a... I think Andrew's, Andrew's just got that, happy. so he's just able to muscle Kenny around in there. I think Andrew's very happy to kind of. Andrew seems to have the advantage at distance, the range, and he seems to have the advantage in the clinch. I tell you what, you have to give Kenny credit. His body's battered pink. He's been uh, just unloaded on by Andrew. Yeah, he's not he's letting still... anything particularly devastating through, and he's still keeping, you know, still, still keeping, by and large, defensively sound yeah. here. Yeah, absolutely. That said, just the, the volume and the ferocity that Andrew's landing with is, is really just keeping the fight in his favor. Yeah. Um, and on top of that, Kenny's just still not quite figured out the range problem. Very intrigued what Jack, uh, the boxing coach Jack's telling him right now. I'm sure over in the uh, over in the Dragons Gym corner, they're just telling him more of the same. Unload, unload. Keep doubling up. I loved that in that round we saw uh, Andrew start doubling up those kicks, not just throwing them one yeah. at a time, but throwing low with a high. Low legs, body, and then overhand. I think Andrew really wants to finish Kenny. He, he's throwing as if he wants to finish Kenny. He's throwing with that kind of intensity. I don't see Kenny letting through anything quite that. Oh. Nice job, job there. Landed. Oh, overhand. and there's that there's overhand. The overhand. He caught that. He caught the kick through the overhand. Kenny ate there it. There we go. Oh, oh. It's the first time Kenny's expression has changed, though. You know. Gets and taken down. Sweep. Kenny lands to the outside. Retaliated. Much heavier. Side kick. And notice how Kenny's head is coming forwards now. When his head starts to come forwards to get his legs out of the way, that's when the, uh, the punches can land and, start, and you're worried about a knockout. Kenny with this feint still. Nice job feinting. He's got to use those feints though to catch Andrew with something Andrew doesn't see coming. He can't just feint, feint, and then throw the kick that Andrew's expecting him to throw. Nice. Good doubling up again from Andrew. Lovely switch to the again. Head. Andrew's a, you know, he's an athlete. He's not, doesn't look like he's tiring. Like neither, neither fight here looks particularly tired. Kenny did a good job shoulder rolling there. Oh, manages to evade all of those strikes in that flurry that Andrew threw. Lovely. I love the way Kenny throws that kick, turns his hip. Andrew throws power, doesn't turn the hip so much. Both, both kicks are beautiful to watch. Andrew landed on the left and the right there. And they saw combo by Andrew and there. The left landed. 
feel like uh, that wasn't as bad a round for Kenny. I feel like Kenny landed his own kicks there, landed some own, his own punches. Yeah. I still feel he didn't win it. Kenny's not about to let anything catastrophic through. Um, he's, he's just getting chipped away at. You know, I think I think Andrew definitely wants to to get the finish here. He's certainly. searching for the finish. And Kenny's too. He's, he's too. He's too calm, too good to really let anything anything particularly fight ending get through. And instead, he just you know keeping defensively sound while just not quite being able to figure out the problem that Andrew's range presents. So we're we coming up to the final round now. Is this round five? Andrew's right ready in the middle of the cage. Kenny steps forward to meet him. Both fighters touch gloves. If you can't respect your opponent after this kind of fight, how you know, when can you respect them? Both fighters have shown excellent technique, excellent skill. Andrew lands a heavy kick to the head. Catches the Kenny leg, tries to looking for a sweep. Let's the sweep go and just looks to swarm Kenny. Yeah, and he's going Kenny's for the finish the now. Of punches. Kenny got landed on hard there, but still in it. Kenny's chin oh, is Andrew rock solid. Definitely wants the finish here. And it's not it's not by yeah, Andrew not trying to finish him. Kenny uh, Andrew chin looking is at the legs there before hell. going high. Oh, catches and sweeps. I tell you what, Kenny deserves a, an award just for just staying in there, taking this barrage of strikes and still throwing back, still. You know, look at his face, very calm, cool and collected. Lean back past that overhand, retaliating with his own strikes. And he surges forward here. Andrew, Into when the body. Andrew throws, he throws crisp and clean strikes. It's lovely to watch. And they land at the right distance. I think Kenny's just maybe a little bit too undersized for this matchup. There is a big size difference watching him from this, yeah, in person. Lovely axe kick from, uh, from Kenny there. He's not against, you know, he might be losing a fight, but he's not against being a bit flashy and uh, trying something new. He's got, a not be, he's got 10 seconds here. He can't drop his hands like that. He needs to counter. Excellent fight and they there. go the distance. What a performance. You can see Andrew. I bet he's telling him, you're a one tough son of a bitch. That was an amazing fight. And I'm really impressed that Kenny stood in there to the end and was throwing back and being creative. Right up phenomenal to the bell. power there from Andrew. Just controlled the range, controlled the clinch, and was just able to unload. Andrew just looked like, to me, kind of like the quintessential Muay Thai fighter. Everything was thrown with, you know, intent. It was like he immediately brought the intensity. I think he caught um, Kenny off guard at the start. He just got kind of how hard he was throwing, how crisp he was landing. It looked brilliant. Two matches there. Two matches straight from uh, the guys at Dragon's Gym. Two very, very impressive Mai Tai performances from Dragon's Gym. Yeah, I look forward to seeing more of their fighters in the future. Yeah, there's a, there's a bit of a size difference here. Ladies and gentlemen, a massive you can kind of round see of when they uh, hug each four, other. Five round for both competitors! What a fight. All photographs brought to you by Laura Jenny Photography. All your photography needs. But the judges have come to a decision. And by unanimous decision, in the blue corner, Fantastic performance from both fighters. The win goes to Andrew Plimmer from Dragon's Gym. Grab some drinks, whatever you need to do. But when we re 